Documenting a process is a necessary part of just about any organization, and a flowchart is the perfect way to visually map out a process. Let's see how quick and easy it is to do it in SmartDraw. To begin, click on the flowchart template. You can also start a flowchart in any open document by selecting Add Blueprint Diagram here on the left and choosing the flowchart option. Let's create an order process chart as an example. Here in the Smart Panel, you can choose a shape from the symbol library, which in this case shows the flowchart symbols. You can also choose from the recently used symbols. Select the rounded box as a starting point and drag it into the workspace. Just type with the box selected to add your first step. To add the next step, click on this yellow Quick Add Control circle and choose a shape from the pop-up options, which are the same options in recently used symbols. This places the next box automatically, adding an evenly spaced connector. You can also press Ctrl and an arrow key on your keyboard to add shapes that way. This will automatically use the shape style that you most recently used. You can also click on these control circles and drag a line in any direction to add the shapes that way. Choose a shape from the pop-up options and it goes into place. Type to add your next steps. Click on the control circle on this shape in the middle of the chart and it adds a new box and pushes everything else down while staying neatly formatted. Delete a shape and the line heals and everything else shifts back into place. If you get to a decision point in the process, add the diamond shape to indicate a decision. Or if a box is already in place, you can right click on it and choose a diamond from the change shape options. Drag two new lines and add boxes using the quick add controls. These guides make it easy to line the shapes up. Click on the lines and type to add text to the lines themselves. In this case, yes and no. If you get to a point in the process that you can go no further and you need to return to an earlier step, you can do this by drawing a line to one of the previous boxes. Just click on the control circle at the top of the shape and drag to the shape you want to return to. You can adjust the vertical and horizontal spacing of your chart here in the Spacing Palette in the Smart Panel. First, right-click on a line and under the Select Shapes options, choose Select Lines in Chart. Now, the spacing of your lines will adjust when you type in a value or use these arrows to change the length. You can easily change the style of your shapes, theme, fill color, and line style up here in the main toolbar. You can transform your flowchart into a swim lane diagram using the swim lane control palette here in the Smart Panel. First, choose the orientation of your swim lanes, vertical, horizontal, or grid. Then you can choose how many lanes you want to add. You can always add or delete lanes later. This is just a starting point. Click Insert Swim Lane Container to add the swim lanes. If any of the shapes aren't aligned where you want them within the lanes, you can adjust them using the guides like we did before. Because the Act as Container option was selected under Swim Lane Options, more lanes will automatically be added as you add more boxes. The lanes will go away when you delete shapes. When you move the lanes around, the flowchart moves with it. If you turn that option off, the lanes and flowchart can move independently you'll see that these person group boxes were automatically added so you can type the name of the groupings that your lanes represent. Click on the Show a Title option to add another title box above these boxes. You can also change the orientation of your lanes on the fly after adding shapes. You can add additional flowcharts or any other kind of diagram blueprint, diagrams from data, or whiteboard blueprints to your workspace by clicking on the Add button here on the left bar and choosing from among those options. For instance, you can add a brain writing and an org chart blueprint anywhere in the workspace and build from there. When you select those blueprints, the controls in the Smart Panel automatically switch to those that will help you build that kind of visual. 
SmartDraw makes it easy to make flowcharts and all of your other visuals exactly how you want them.